it is time for another adventure in Peru. Day four, I think, of our wandering wheels trip. This is the Inca Avalanche Trail. We started up at 14,000 feet and we're gonna go down 5,000 feet over eight miles. Woo Uh oh! <laughs> Whoa! If you've seen the videos of the Inca avalanche, the mass start starts uh, quite a bit up a little further. Peru tourism is at a bit of a standstill at the moment, so this road is gonna be very empty today. But normally, I could see that being very dangerous doing these road crossings. Whoa! I can see our shuttle driver off to the left on the road over there. We're gonna beat him down for sure. Uh-oh, wrong turn. <laughs> this is our local guide Kinti up ahead with a fresh rear tire on today. He got every single millimeter of rubber out of his last one. <laughs> Wow, once in a lifetime right here. Unreal. No, no, no. That's so simple, but so bad. Yikes. Whoa. Epic. Look at this. The riding from this day was amazing, and it's always what I'm searching for. And if you've been following my channel for a few years, you know that I've always been searching for an electrolyte drink that tastes good, keeps me charged up, doesn't mess up my stomach, doesn't make me feel twitchy, and doesn't have a half a pound of sugar. And guess what? I finally found it. This is Element, the proud sponsor of today's ride. The Element mission is to restore health through hydration. If your body's not getting enough electrolytes, you're probably getting headaches and cramps and tiredness, among other things. And if you do a low carb diet or you're fasting or working out a ton and sweating, your body needs even more electrolytes. The Element Thesis is out with sugar and in with salt. They believe that most people, especially active and health conscious people, need more salt to perform their best and feel good. I know I have to cut a lot of sugar out of my life and Element helps with that. It has zero sugar, it's sweetened by stevia, it tastes fantastic, especially the watermelon salt flavor. I've got the whole kitten caboodle, every flavor to try and they've all been so good so far. I just got this massive insider box which has four different flavors and I think it's gonna last me a long, long time. I really think if you try it, you're gonna like it. And right now, Element is offering a free sample pack if you order anything from their website. You'll get eight single serving packets, all different flavors, so you can try them all or share them with a salty friend. Just head on over to drinkelement.com slash BKXC. This deal is only available through my link over at drinklmnt.com slash BKXC. Thank you, Element, for making this ride possible. Oh, wow. Got flying Ryan ahead of me. Woo. Wow. Look at that. 
<laughs> There's the shuttle. Yeah, Peru is in a bit of turmoil right now. They've had six presidents in the past five years, and there's a bunch of protests right now for the right-wing president to step down. And, oh, wow. We knew it was happening before we left. And, you know, we've seen things here and there, protests, and, but yesterday, a lot more scary, a lot more roadblocks, a lot more real. Cusco Airport is shut down right now. So, I'm enjoying my new life in Peru. I'm thinking maybe Sarah could drive the van down from California. Oh, oh, oh. oh, look at this. Look at his back wheel. His back wheel's loose. Hey, Kinti. You need to tighten your rear axle. Oh man, he's not gonna stop and check his bike. <laughs> what is... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Nice line. The magic man. Clunk, clunk. Yeah. You're not going to check your back wheel? No, it's the tire, bro. Okay, okay. Yeah, it's the tire. Okay, okay. Yeah. So it's just wobbly. It's really wobbly. Wow. That rock was crazy. Woohoo, frame breaker. <laughs> too slow, too slow. That's how you hit. The nose kick turned. Ooh, scary. Imagine racing that. Oh. <sighs> Matt said the tour companies do not take people on this trail because of all the road crossings. And I'm guessing because it's pretty intense stuff as well. And of course, during the race, they shut down the road. <laughs> This year's race is going to be in May, and Kinti is going to be in it. Last year he got third place, except for after the race, some guy decided that he was going to change divisions, so that <laughs> pushed Kinti into fourth place. <laughs> oh yeah! Yes! Maybe it was before the race, but <laughs> now he's got a rival. Yeah. Man, we have a really good group size. Everyone is totally shredding and just, you can move through so much faster on a group trip when everyone's doing good. Got to push through the pain on the, the hands and then get to a rest spot with everyone. It's really nice. Whoa, look at that. Oh, yeah. Almost lost it. <laughs> oh, dabaroo. 
Woo if you are enjoying all oh, these rides, you gotta get over on the Patreon and see the extended cuts. It's gonna be 45 minutes plus of all this action. Bull. <laughs> and he's tied up. This is not good. Oh, what? There's no way. Yeah, let me be the first dumbass. Good luck, guys. That's eh, actually a cow. I see the others. We're fine. Man, without the horns, it's just there. a cow. But right with the horns, it's a whole nother thing. I think we just came up on it so fast we that. Did, really. So, good so far. I just want to look big. If I'm with you, we're big. Hola. Good girl. Oh, baby vaca. <laughs> Don't have to tie the babies up because they'll always be close to mama. We have had a little bit of everything on this trip. It's so awesome. You only live once. <laughs> gonna take a few more years for that saying to be cool again <laughs> bringing it back <sighs> didn't see the rock <sighs> wow I'm sure the GoPro shows just how steep this is. <laughs> the eucalyptus stuff. A little slippery. Yep. <laughs> Nasty. Ooh, that'd be tough if cars were coming. King T, your tire is flat. Best marked trail in Peru. Always got the lines on the road for us. Derecho. I hope you guys have been watching all the other videos in this series because this is exactly what my channel is all about. The pandemic slowed me down and hopefully this year I'll get to show off a lot of different stuff like this. Oops. <laughs> <Woo -hoo. laughs> Flat tire alley. <laughs> wow. Huh? I can't hear you. <laughs> this was always my weak spot. In any cross country race, if it started to flatten out and I had to pedal, all of a sudden everybody's catching up and everyone ahead of me is leaving me in the dust. I got no watts! Oh. Oh. Just a 5,000 foot descent before lunch. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> <laughs> that was incredible. Whoa. For the second lap of the day, our trip leader Matt took us down a trail called Puma Marca. Yeah. Wanted to try a little more momentum that time than panic braking. It worked. My buddy Pat is also on this trip. He was with me 
in China and New Zealand on my trips and he had a little pulse oximeter. Well, I guess he had an Apple watch and you could check your O2 level in your blood. And I was at 92% when maybe normally at home, you'd be 99% or 100%. So I think it's good getting used to the altitude a little more. Hi, yeah, 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 yeah. It's okay. Uh, yeah. Yep. <laughs> oh. Ooh, you could cook a steak on these rocks. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sure this is only second or third time Matt's ridden this trail. Ooh. And I've also ridden with Matt in Tibet and China. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> One of the guys, Ethan, said he rode the entire morning with his shock locked out. <laughs> Here's what I say. Never lock out your shock. <laughs> Don't worry about it. Yeah. <laughs> Yikes. There's the thousand terraces up ahead. No time to look. Ooh, yeah. yeah. Loco. Ooh, yeah. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Ooh, breaks and breaks and breaks. <laughs> Don't jump. Man, I hope I'm doing a good job of capturing this because it is really unreal. Every aspect is just so fun, interesting, enriching. ¿Qué tal? This is magical, man. Yeah. Holy moly. This is the town of Ollante Tambo. It's usually a hustling and bustling touristy town, but because of the ongoing protests, it's pretty quiet right now. Taking the train from this town is one of the most popular ways to get to Machu Picchu. And we were supposed to be on a rest day and visiting Machu Picchu today, but the protesters destroyed some of the railroad tracks. But instead, we got to enjoy one of the best days ever on the bike. Launch was at a place that specializes in pollo a la brasa, which is rotisserie chicken. And as we were eating lunch, we heard a rumor that the protesters were going to march through the city, but luckily that never materialized. So now we're gonna load up the van and head up for another lap, but this is where this video ends because the next adventure is just massive and really good all on its own. There was already two amazing rides in this video. I think it's much better to split them up. They have totally different feels even though this one day was one of my favorite days ever on a mountain bike. Thanks for being here and all the support. Share the video with a friend if you really liked it. I am so, so happy with all these Peru videos and we have so many more to go. Stick around. But until then, do me a favor, go ride something new and maybe I'll see you on the trail. <laughs>